and it really does look like it's a stained glass art project. You simply take school glue, and then on the school glue, you're going to dab just drops of food coloring. First observation, the food coloring doesn't really want to spread out, but you're going to take some dish soap, dab a little bit of dish soap onto a toothpick, and touch the colors. Now watch this. You see how the food coloring starts to spread out? Why? Well, it has to do with what glue is. Glue is comprised of water and a really large molecule or a bunch of molecules that are called polyvinyl acetate. And that large molecule is kind of like having a bowl of cooked spaghetti. When the dish soap is added, the soap molecules help to break up this combination of the polyvinyl acetate and water to allow the food coloring to flow more easily. When you let it dry out, and it usually takes about a day or two to completely dry, take your new creation and the glue has dried and it really does look like it's a stained glass art project. The colors have spread, they've dried, and it's now a nice piece that is very flexible. So it's really kind of fun to see that property of this now plastic that was made with the glue. And, you know, you can play around with different amounts of the food coloring. So get creative and make your own stained glass.